So here we go guys and girls, we're off into the first video. It's gonna be about the basics of getting your stance, your center of gravity, how to make a fist, how to actually move with some sense of control. Uh, I've got two gentlemen that actually very kindly offer to help. Uh, they actually train with me on a regular basis. Neither of them have been training very long at all. Yeah, and hopefully you'll be able to see that you, you can make the same kind of progress they've made really, really quickly. How do we set the stance up? Really, really simple, yeah. Um, feet about shoulder width apart. So if you jump, you'll get shoulder, you'll land shoulder width apart. You take half a step. If you're right-handed, your left leg goes forward. So a half step, yeah, as if you're just walking, yeah. Point the feet at one o'clock. So instead of being here in full and square, you're slightly, slightly side on. Yeah, a little more defensive posture. Okay, your right elbow covers the ribs here. Your right hand covers your face. Your left hand is here, 90 degrees to start with. All right, and we don't wanna be like here, we wanna be pointing where we're going. Yeah, so we wanna head in one direction. Yeah. First things first, actually, when we, before we go into actually moving, yeah, how you make a fist. So here's the way I was taught, I find it works really, really well. Yeah, you go fingers over, all the way over. Yeah, slide them down, bring them in, and tuck the thumb away. So we're gonna be hitting with the two big knuckles. We're not gonna do, there's lots of ways of punching, we're not gonna do lots of twisting. We're gonna start just going straight, yeah? So this hand would be here, this one would be here, eye level. Yeah, and this is gonna go straight like that, okay? So I'm gonna ask the guys to actually show how we actually move. All right, and we move in each one with really, really small steps. So if I've got Lee facing me, so, if I'm here, respect, right, we go, I just move in and I move back. He does the same, he moves in and he moves back, right? So we're moving like four inches, six inches, no big steps, it's really gentle and soft. So first one, he rocks and then I rock, boom, and it goes and I go in and then I go back and he does the same. He does the same, right? So we're just synchronizing. Whatever direction you go, that's the leg that goes first. So if he wants to move, if, he moves, if Lee moves to his right, his right leg moves and his left follows. Left, left leg goes first, right? So whatever direction, that's the leg that goes first. All right. And you go from a stable position to a new stable position. Yeah, so we wanna, you can't generate any power, any torque, any force if you're unstable. You can't be in two different places, two different planes all moving at the same time. Right, so if we were to show you the three of us just doing it so you can get different reference points. So we've gone one, two, three, four, five, six, right? We're in position, All right? Move and back, move and back. And each time you wanna feel that center of gravity. Yeah, and guys, if you move left and right, so people can see that as well. So you want your hips under your shoulders, right? You want this under the, so you don't wanna to be too here, don't wanna to be too here. So every time you move, you should feel nice and stable when you get to the new place. Yeah, it's, it is, I promise, that simple, all right? So we're gonna go through that bit, we're gonna go through the next bit on how we do a check. Yeah, and we just build and build and build and build, okay. A couple of bits, good. Okay, out, three, two, three, two, one, and go. So we, we've covered a little bit about uh, the stance and moving, right, and just play with it. That's the simplest thing, like all the way through the videos, play with a little motion, okay. Breathing, right? You put your tongue on the base of your mouth, not up at the top, on the palate base, and you breathe out as you um, exhale, right? So it's a bit of a statement, the obvious, but it's a kind of go, hush. So you breathe here, so this compresses your ribs, right? It's not a violent mo movement. You're still breathing low instead of high, and you go, hush. Yeah, so you move, breathe, right? And when we come into the punching, you're actually gonna see how we actually go about that process. If I've got Richard, right, we're gonna go into what the check is actually like. Right, so the first part is he goes check onto my chest. Good, so his, his hips are under his shoulders, his hand is long, slightly bent at the elbow. Yeah, and he's checked with the palm here. Good, he's still got his hand here and covering. Yeah, and, and this is gonna be his first line of defense. So what he does is he takes this one back and this one comes out. So they swap, yeah, and again, hitting with the big knuckles. Yeah, and as he does it, he's gonna breathe. He's gonna go hush, hush, good, and again, boom, and again, boom, and again, good, excellent, nice. So how we're gonna play with that is we're gonna move, check, breathe, and hit. Move, check, breathe, and hit. So really, really simple. So if you just follow me through on that, guys, we'll just go through that just for a little second. 
and then we'll do a little bit on the pad so you can actually see the application of it. Check, yeah, turn, yeah, move, back, right, move in, check, right, right. And we're turning everything. Hips are still under the shoulders, bending the right knee if you're right-handed, and generating the power, covering. So each time we cover with the other hand. Yeah, so really, again, lots of information. Don't worry about too much about it. You play with it 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. It's all gonna make a lot more sense. Good, so we've done a little bit about moving, about the stance. Now we're gonna go into actually how you first line of defense, how you actually check, yeah, uh, how you do your basic punch, yeah, and actually how you breathe. So the breathing is actually uh, from here. You're compressing your diaphragm and your ribs. So as you breathe, you're gonna put your tongue on the base of your mouth, and you're gonna breathe out in a kind of, not explosive, but sharp manner. You're gonna go, hush, right here. Right? So it's gonna come from here, and it's gonna be hush. Right, so if we're in stance, we've gone into our stance, We've got our stance nicely. Chin is down, right? eyes are strong. Yeah, it's part of the mindset that you want to have. Right. We move, yeah, we check with the lead hand. Pull that one back, this one comes out. Bend the right knee. We're transferring mass, we're transferring energy. Yeah. So as we go and we breathe, hush, hush, hush. So then from there, move back, check. Hush. Good, move back. Check. <laughs> right, so things I want you to notice, like for guys, you just keep going on it, just for a second or two, uh, is just that the weight's still here, your distribution's still here, your check is here, your chin is down, your eyes are strong, and your fists have been taught to make it. This palm is what you check with, and we hit. Right, really, really simple, really, really basic. Now we're just gonna show you a little bit of the application, how it actually operates in the real world. Uh, but the motion is still the important thing for you to get. So I've got Richard with me. Right, so first bit, he's got his stance. He goes check, right? And his check's gonna be on my body with the palm of his hand. This is gonna be slightly bent, so it's not locked, yeah. Chin's down, eyes are strong, and his other hand is next to his chin. The fist is coming this way. Hips are under the shoulders, so everything's nice and stable and strong, okay? Very slowly, very gently, we're gonna use one of these super duper pads. He's gonna take this one back, and hit with this. So slowly, he's gonna go one. Good, and again, boom. Good, and again, and again. Good, and then bite. And again. Good, fine, nice, All right? So the thing you should have seen there is like the explosive breath, the compression, yeah, the intensity and the focus on it. Yeah. All the bits and the motion suddenly get real. So we've just, we did a little bit on checking, how to check and actually how to start the, move, the movement and motion of your punch. Now I want to talk a little bit briefly about how you cover up, All right? And again, we're going to keep it really basic, really simple stuff you can actually learn and progress really quickly with. So covering up, you've probably often seen people do this, yeah, to cover, All right? But that leaves a big gap. So what I want you to think about doing, and Rich is going to demonstrate it, is you're going to go here and here, not elbows out, you're going to go in, so you're kind of peeking through this little space. All right, in the motions we did earlier, yeah, we moved forward, yeah, small step, four inches. Yeah, left and right, four inches, right? So what I want you to understand is you've gone cover, so if you're being attacked, if someone's coming in and they're getting in close, so if I'm hitting Richard, then he's covering, so he doesn't need to do much now because he's made a triangle with these three parts. This is locked and strong, his chin is down. Yeah, his hips are under his shoulders, so he's feeling fairly strong. Yeah, and this, this can actually take quite a lot. If he goes here, yeah, there's way too much opportunity, right? So this is a little bit tighter. Yeah, it feels claustrophobic when you initially do it, but the other bit we're gonna go, and this is my insight on it, the, the difference. He's not gonna just stand there and take it like a punch bag. What he's gonna do, he's just gonna move in. Small steps again. Yeah, and again, small step. <laughs> and small step. Good, so this, the, the insight I have on it is you don't stand and, and take all this, you just move ever so slightly in. Good, so we could practice this together. So we could be here, right, and you're just gonna move yeah, your hips, yeah? And if you move in at one, move back, move in, move back, yeah? And if you want, you're just turning your hips, changes everything, but all the time you're just gonna sneak through this little peak hole. Yeah, this is surprisingly strong, but it's got three parts of the triangle. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, that give it the stability. 
Yeah, so it's a really, really effective one, and it's the moving in that gives you the strength on it. One last bit I just want to add to all this. We're going to talk a little bit all the way through these videos about mindset, possibly the most important aspect of it. Hard to see, hard to get in some ways, but actually not that hard. And it's about cultivating, getting your mind and your body to work together. Yeah, you need to synchronize all that because you don't want to be spread all over the place, especially when you're doing stuff that's actually about, you know, physical contact. Okay, I hope that's been useful. Yeah, we look forward to seeing you again soon.